Okay, so this is a story about somebody I know personally, one of my close personal friends. He's a good man. He was a hard worker. He loved his family. He always put his wife and kids first. He never did any drugs. He was the occasional drinker every now and again, but who doesn't, right? He's just your all-around good person. I would consider him a great guy. So anyways, years and years ago, he had the perfect life. He had it all. He had everything. A beautiful wife, two beautiful daughters, a great paying job, a nice house in a well-respected neighborhood, everything that a 32-year-old man could ever dream of. He was the definition of the American dream. But one day, his perfect life came to an end. Long story short, he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He suffered an injury that made him confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. There was no settlement in this accident. There was no person to take to court. He was young and he never had any sort of injury insurance. And because it didn't happen at work, all he was able to get from damages was a disability check worth barely over $1,000 per month. This put an end to his wife's easy lifestyle. All she did before was pretty much stay at home and do nothing. But now, she was actually expected to do stuff around the house and help him out with difficult situations. And it was time for her to step up to the plate and become the breadwinner. She took that marriage vow years ago, but three months into it, she already wanted to bail. She was no longer having fun in life, and life became a chore for her. So, she divorced him about four months after the accident. So basically what she did next was a total bitch move. She ended up remarrying some other dude in some other state. And he was a slick plastic surgeon, that's right. The guy was like a good 20, 20 something years older than her. And he pulled in like probably about 400,000 bucks a year, or probably more than that. So she basically took off with her two daughters and just left his butt just like that. They moved in with this new guy into a nice mansion in some really nice rich kid school district. And now she didn't have to do jack crap around the house again. I mean, God forbid a chick actually has to go out there and get a job to support a family, you know? Yeah, well anyways, like the house had to be sold because my buddy couldn't afford the payment, so yeah, he had to move into some other place. And this guy was a total piece of work, wanting to marry this chick so he'd be able to form a relationship with the daughters as well, if you know what I mean. It's like this guy was able to get three females for the price of one. That's how this dude viewed it. And he was a total piece of work. This guy was a total show off. He had nice cars, he was a loud mouth, and he was one of those type of dudes, like a Christian minister type person. I don't know if you've been around Christian ministers, but they're, I don't know, they just have that personality about them. And he just thought he was a hot shot. He even had infomercials on TV featuring his doctor practice, like for plastic surgery. So basically he was a local celebrity and he had a really nice home, you know, worth over a million dollars and a really, really like rich neighborhood, you know? My friend ended up moving into somebody's garage. It was a garage converted into a studio apartment at some random person's house. It was all that he could afford because he was basically getting a thousand dollars per month. I mean, that number went up a little bit over the years, but he's still making a very small amount of money. And he has pictures of his two daughters all over his walls. And all he can do pretty much every day is sit there and reminisce about the good times when he had a family and life was perfect. Over the years, he missed a lot of the landmarks in his two daughters' life. They never even called to say hi to him. All he does is print photos he found online because they won't even allow their own father to be an Instagram friend. They view him as an embarrassment. And he's had to watch them grow up by pictures and he hasn't seen them in real life for years. And it sometimes makes him depressed. He basically has developed a drinking problem because of this. His own family abandoned him when times got tough. The plastic surgery guy took over his family and basically cut him out of there. And now the daughters view him as the dad. So the moral of the story is, women will never step up to the plate ever. They always expect a man to do it, but when the time comes for them to, they will always bail. They know that their JJ is a high-priced commodity. His ex-wife still claims to this very day that she remarried because she wanted her daughters to have a better life. But the reality is, she didn't want to keep her end of the bargain, the wedding day bargain, you know? The part that goes for richer, for poorer, for sickness and in health. And the thing is, that 95% of all women out there would do this exact same thing if a similar injury happened to their husband. So, uh, just remember that, fellas.